Hi, this is Adam, and in this video I want to teach you the first essential consideration when it comes to understanding verb conjugation, which is probably the hardest thing to learn in Spanish. Now that consideration is the nature of your message. In English, we have what we call the mood or the mode of a verb. And because the verb is what gives meaning or life to an idea or sentence, you have to consider what the mood or nature of your message is so that you can conjugate it the right way. In Spanish, the nature of your message is going to fall into one of three broad categories. In English, we have up to seven, I believe, moods, but in Spanish, there are only three when it comes to conjugation. So if your sentence gives a command, then the nature of it is urgent or imperative, so your verb conjugation falls into the imperative mood. If your message or sentence explains, then the nature of it is simply indicating what the idea is, so its conjugation falls into the indicative mood. So the first category is the imperative mood, giving commands. The second category is the indicative mood, which simply indicates or explains. And finally, if your idea is subjective, or it is a reflection on an emotion, anticipation, or doubt, your verb is going to fall into what we call the subjunctive mood. So it's always helpful to try and figure out which of these three moods your idea falls into. Is it a command? Does it simply describe? Or is it reflecting some sort of anticipation, doubt, or emotion, or judgment? It's always going to fall into one of those three. After you understand that, then you can go on to consider other things like how you're going to look at the time of your message and who is actually giving the message or who the message is about.